In this module, we will have a look at how to work with sales tax in QuickBooks. Understanding how to work with sales tax as a bookkeeper or accountant is very important since any business in Canada that undergoes transactions, whether they are buying goods or services, or selling goods or services, will have sales tax to record on these transactions. Generally, when you sell goods or services, you will need to charge sales tax and remit that to either the Canada Revenue Agency, also known as the CRA, or Revenue Quebec, if you're registered in Quebec. And when you pay for goods or services to be used in your business, you can claim the sales tax paid on those expenditures to offset the sales tax you owe to your sales tax agency from your sales. What can make things complicated is that depending on what you're selling, that is either goods or services, where you're selling the goods or services, that is what specific province, and what sales tax programs you're registered for, all of these factors impact how you record sales tax. The purpose of this instruction is not to teach you how to navigate through the Canadian sales tax system. For this, you should research the place of supply rules available on the CRA's website. However, this instruction is meant to guide you through what you need to do once it's determined what sales tax to charge and what kind of sales tax you can claim input tax credits on. This module is broken up into two sections. The first will get into setting up your sales taxes and applying them to your transactions. The section that follows will discuss how to run your sales tax reports and file your sales tax returns. So let's first see what's involved to set up your sales taxes in QuickBooks and apply them to your transactions. What you need to keep in mind here is that you may need to record different sales tax rates and you may have to remit them to two different agencies. For example, if your business is in Ontario and you sell goods to your customers who are also in Ontario, you would normally charge 13% HST on your sales. However, if you happen to sell to a customer who happens to be in Alberta and you happen to arrange for the delivery of those goods, then you should only be charging 5% GST, which is the sales tax rate applicable in that province. In either case, the GST and HST would go to the CRA. However, if your business is registered for QST in Quebec, and you happen to sell your goods to a Quebec customer, you would need to charge them the 5% GST, which would go to the CRA, and the 9.975% Quebec sales tax, also known as QST, which would go to Revenue Quebec. Now the way how you can think of the sales tax setup in QuickBooks is that it's a layered process. First, you need to set up the sales tax accounts in the chart of accounts. Then you'll have to set up your sales tax agencies, like the CRA and Revenue Quebec, and assign them to your sales tax accounts. Once you've done that, you'll need to set up your sales tax items, or if you're a QST registrant, you'll need to set up a sales tax group and then assign these to your sales tax agencies. Your last step is to set up sales tax codes and assign them to your sales tax items or groups. Now, this flowchart may seem quite complex and cumbersome. However, the good news is that a lot of the actual setup has already been done for you when you indicated that you track sales taxes when we were setting up our company file in modules two and three. Let's look at the first thing on the flowchart, setting up sales tax accounts. What I mean by this is that if we go to the chart of accounts, you'll see three sales tax accounts set up here for us. GST, HST payable, GST, QST payable, and PST payable ON. Really, these are all the sales tax accounts you will need. And even the third one, PST payable, has limited applicability. However, if you had to create a new one, all you'd have to do is go to the bottom, 
and create a new account and make it a current liability account like these three here. The next step in our flowchart is to set up sales tax agencies and assign them to sales tax accounts. Luckily, this has also already been done for us. If I go to my vendor center, you'll see three sales tax vendors in the system. Ministère du Revenu for QST, the Ontario Ministry of Finance for PST, and Receiver General for GST and HST. And what's special about these vendors is that if I go into one of them, like Receiver General, right click and select Edit Vendor, and select Sales Tax Settings, you'll see a check mark beside Vendor is a Sales Tax Agency. Then below, all of our sales tax preferences are marked here. That is, with this agency, we file GST HST returns, we report on a quarterly basis, our label is GST HST, along with which months our periods end. Also notice that over here, this sales tax agency has been assigned a sales tax account for sales and a sales tax account for purchases, which is coming from our chart of accounts that we saw earlier. So in this case, both are going to account 25500 GST HST payable. If I escape out of here and instead have a look at Ministère du Revenu, notice that my sales tax return is different and the account it's assigned to is also different. Instead of having it assigned to account number 25500, it is assigned number 25530, GST QST payable. If I needed to add a new sales tax vendor, I would just need to create a new vendor like any other, like I showed back in module five, but also go into the sales tax settings tab and fill in all of this info. Going back to our flowchart, the next step is to set up sales tax items or sales tax groups and assign them to sales tax agencies. Now again, this is something that QuickBooks has already done for us, but you may need to modify these if you're dealing with sales tax rates other than 5% GST, 13% HST, and 9.975% QST. The place where we can find, add, or modify our sales tax items is in the item list. So if I go in there, you'll see all of my inventory items, which we've already seen in the previous modules, and down here are all of the sales tax items and sales tax groups. QuickBooks has already made these for us. Right now, I have sales tax items for Ontario sales and purchases, along with sales tax items for GST only, like if I bought or sold goods in Alberta. But let's say I sold goods to a customer in New Brunswick where the sales tax rate is 15% HST. To set this up, I'd need to create a new sales tax item by going to the bottom, hitting item, and select new. Then I'd select sales tax item from the dropdown. My sales tax name would be HSTNB for New Brunswick. My description would be HST NB on sales. 
and my tax rate would be 15%. I'd also select my tax agency to be Receiver General. Then I'd choose my sales tax return line to be line 103 for GST HST collected. Now before we hit OK, I just want to note that if we also needed to record 15% HST on goods purchased from New Brunswick, we would need to set up another sales tax item just like this, except I would call this HST NB ITC, change the name from sales to purchases, and change my sales tax return line from line 103 to line 106 for ITCs. For this demonstration, Adams Fittings and Supply buys all its goods in Ontario, so I won't add this in, but it's something to keep in mind in case you need to claim input tax credits, or ITCs, that aren't necessarily 13%. So I'm now going to hit OK, and click Ignore All, and here's the new sales tax item I created for New Brunswick sales. Before we move on to the last step in our sales tax setup, I also want to point out that if we were selling goods or services to Quebec, and my company was registered for QST in Quebec, meaning I would need to charge 5% GST and 9.975% QST, I'd first need to make a sales tax item for QST sales the same way as I set it up for New Brunswick. I'd first need to make a sales tax item for QST sales the same way as I set it up for New Brunswick, except my tax rate would be 9.975%. My tax agency would be Ministère du Revenu, and my sales tax line would be line 203 for my QST return. I'd click OK, and then I'd need to create a sales tax group, since my sale would attract two different tax rates, and they're going to different tax agencies, CRA and Revenue Quebec. So I'm going to click Item, New. I'm going to select a Sales Tax Group, and I'm going to call it QST plus GST. My description can be QST plus GST Sales. And below here, I would take in both my GST Sales Tax item, and my QST sales tax item. And I'd then hit OK. Now the last step we need to do is set up sales tax codes and assign them to our sales tax items and groups that we just created. The way to think of these tax codes are that these are those letters that pop up in the tax column on our invoices, bills, and other transaction entry screens that we saw in the previous modules. If I go to lists and select sales tax code list, here are the different sales tax codes that QuickBooks has already made for us. If I right click on H for HST, for example, and select edit, You'll notice that down here, it has tax items assigned to it, which we were just setting up for our New Brunswick and Quebec sales. Now let's say we want to set a code up for our New Brunswick sales tax so we can pull it up on our transaction screens. I'm going to hit cancel. I'm going to go down to sales tax code and select new. I'll put my code as NB for New Brunswick, 
my description will be HST NB only. I'll select the taxable radio button. And for my tax item for sales, I'm going to select the one we just created called HST NB. If I had a sales tax item set up for New Brunswick purchases, I'd assign it over here. I'm going to hit OK. And now our sales tax code is set up for New Brunswick. For Quebec sales tax, the same idea. I'm going to go down to the bottom, hit New, put my code as Q for Quebec. My description can be QST QC. I'll select Taxable. And under Tax Item for Sales, I will select the group I created before called GST plus QST Sales. And I'm going to select OK. Now let's see what happens when we go to our Create Invoices screen. I'm going to go to my Customer menu and hit Create Invoices. I'm not going to fill my whole invoice in, but let me just put $100 in my amount column. If, let's say, I was selling $100 of goods to my customer in New Brunswick, I would select the tax code NB over here, and voila! It's calculating the 15% HST instead of 13%. Or, let's say my customer was in Quebec, and I am a QST registrant. I would then need to select the tax code Q over here. And look at that. It's calculating and separating out for me my 5% GST for CRA, and my 9.975% QST for Revenue Quebec. So that's how you set up sales taxes in QuickBooks. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see more QuickBooks Canada videos from Simon Says It, click over there. And click over there to upgrade to the full QuickBooks Canada course.